hello guys so welcome back to my channel thank you for coming around today's tutorial is going to be a very quick and easy one even if you are not experienced you can make this sell and make your money so the two measurements needed for this is just the chest circumference as well as the length of the outfit so right here i'm going to draw my first line which is going to be the center front line and i'm using 12 and a half inch and i will square another line equal to the half measurement of the chest of the baby which is six and a half inch and i'm going to draw it down so right here from the high point shoulder i'm going to mark three inches to create the chest region of the outfit and i'm going to square this line across Kindly leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button. So from this level, I'm going to go down by five and a half inch, stopping at the hip level. And I'm going to square this line across. And as well, draw my last line to guide me when we want to create the leg region of the romper. Right here, I'm going to mark three inches, and from this um, angle, I'm going to mark three and a half inch, and I'm going to use my curve ruler so to create the front part. I am going to go up by one inch. If you want yours to have a demarcation between the back one and the front one, you can as well do this. But if you don't want, you can skip this. So right here, I'm going to come up by one inch more and create the front one. So as you can see, the difference between the back and the front panel. So to create the waist line of the front one, I'm going to mark half an inch here and I'm going to connect towards the side. So you can see the difference between the front and back panel. So from this part, I'm going to mark three inches. And down here, I'm going to mark one and quarter inch and connect with my curve ruler. This is to create the placket region for the outfit. So to make the placket overlap, I'm going to mark one inch. And connect with my ruler as well. So this is where you're going to have your buttons placed and as well make your button holes. So on this top part, I'm going to mark two and a half inch and I'll connect down. So this is actually very simple and quick to make. And this is my center front. And this part is going to be folded. So when I want to cut on my fabric, I'm going to show you how you just overlap this. So I'm going to cut all this out in pieces and assemble them for you to understand very well what I want to achieve. So as you can see, they are now in pieces. This side is going to be folded when you want to cut. So as you can see, I flip it over and I'm taping it. So this is the center front one. And this is just that demarcation. I don't want mine to have a joining towards the down part so I'm going to cut everything straight so that's why I'm doing it this way so the choice is yours if you want a cut around this area you can do that 
and leave it the way the pattern is so this is how i'm gonna place it on my fabric to cut please ensure to place the center front part on fold so this is the back side so this is how it should be so now i'm going to cut my fabric please give this video a thumbs up leave a comment below if a video is beneficial to you don't forget to like the video to promote the video thank you So the next thing to cut is just the belt. So when you want to cut your belt, just cut it, add extra to it. So you try it on your baby because you're gonna place your buttons on it. Try it on your baby before you attach your button. So this is the center front. Place your fashion fabric together with your lining and cut them at once. So this is my belt. So this is how you're gonna sew it. So as you can see, I have two of them joined together. So I'm going to run my stitch here and repeat the same thing on the other side. So measure this angle and cut your elastic at least reduce your the length by at least four to five inches so when you attach it it can draw that area too so i'm going to run a stitch on this part as well before attaching my elastic So this is how I'm going to sew my elastic. So you have to sew it on the seam allowance, not on the seam line of your outfit. Sew it on the seam allowance. Make sure you don't catch the seam line where you've sewn before. So after this, I'm going to notch it before attaching the elastic so place it this way and run your stitch repeat the same thing on the other side So once you are done with this step, turn the outfit inside out and top stitch as you can see. So after top stitching, on this church region I'm going to make a fold as you can see. So that is where I'm going to insert the, the belt. Then I'm going to search the back side. So I'm searching it right now. So after searching it, then I'll go ahead and fold it, leaving a space where I'm going to insert my elastic. 
so this is where i should insert the elastic so i'm giving it a good press So don't forget to leave a thumbs up and also leave a comment below. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed already, hit on that subscribe button for more videos like this. So I'm going to insert the belt right here. Then I will go ahead and top stitch the areas that I haven't top stitched already. So if you don't want to top stitch, you can skip that. So I'm going to put it, this is where you you should make your buttonhole while the belt goes underneath. So your button should be on top of the belt and this is how the front part should be. So thank you for watching. Leave a like on this video and this brings us to the end of this tutorial, so and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!